Hey, what's going on everyone? Will from the Upland Rookie Podcast. And uh, it's a beautiful Saturday out here in Colorado. And uh, I'm gonna be out here working some dogs. Will post with my female win, uh, throwing some birds for her. Uh, it's been going really well through this wool breaking process. Uh, Gage is gonna let him uh, get out there, run. And uh, season's gonna be here soon, guys. So excited. Um, we got less than 30 days until season opener. Uh, my opening trip to Nebraska is uh, just around the corner, it feels like. So I'm really excited. Um, so anyways, after I work some dogs here, I'm gonna be doing a, uh, a YouTube uh, review, a product review video of my brand new Final Rise Sidekick Vest. Um, now you all know I love my Summit Vest from Final Rise. Um, that's gonna be my number one go-to vest probably for hunting season. Uh, but now with the new Sidekick, which is super minimalistic and super lightweight, I think it's the lightest hunting vest on the market. Um, this thing I've been rocking, took on a, a blue grouse scouting trip in the mountains and been using it for training a lot. And uh, for a training vest, um, even for a hunting vest, of course, it's a, it's a workhorse where it's gonna be just fine. Um, but again, some of the trialing I've been getting into, it's gonna be absolutely perfect. And then of course the training stuff. And so um, I'm gonna show you how I have it set up. I added a new accessory to it and I'm pretty excited to show you that. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go over kind of uh, all the, the features that I've enjoyed, kind of how I use it, what it looks like, and uh, we'll go from there. So hope you enjoy. Uh, make sure you are subscribed to the YouTube channel. And uh, if you're enjoying this video, hit the like button and uh, share it with a friend or two on social media. Um, so anyways, enough of this and uh, we're gonna go from there or we're gonna get into it. I don't know. I'm figuring out this YouTube thing. So everyone bear with me uh, as I figure out YouTube and uh, how to put out some of these videos. So uh, it's a learning curve, but uh, it's gonna be fun. I hope you enjoy it. Again, make sure you subscribe and like the video. Thanks. All right, so I'm just gonna go uh, bag some birds, get ready for some training and uh, we'll be back. Hey, what's going on everyone? Um, so we just got done doing a little training and uh, really, really happy with uh, this training session. So when did great, say hi, say hi. All right, let me put her back real quick. Anyways, um, really happy with how the training session went. This though is my final rise sidekick vest and um, as you can see got some uh, some different accessories on this thing and uh, I'm going to show you kind of how I've utilized it um, for training and uh, again if you're looking for a for a training vest a vest for trialing um, kind of a do it all thing this is going to be a, a good option for you I don't have my my water bottles in here right now I usually have some water in there if I'm going out for a walk, letting dogs run. But since I was just doing a woe post, obviously <laughs> we're not gonna bring water. So um, first off, I just got my Garmin uh, Pro 550. Um, pocket up here. This is a uh, meant for a 200i, uh, Garmin Alpha 200i. I usually keep my phone in there. Um, obviously, since I'm recording, I uh, it's empty. But uh, the elastic over top here, slip my phone in this goes over top of the phone and it's really really secure so i can i can bend over bend down do what i need to do and i'm, I'm i've never worried about my phone falling out if i need to take a quick picture one hand boop take out that phone um again obviously all the final rise vests are going to have the uh waist belt uh system 
And that's kind of the, I think, the bread and butter of the, of the system here. So this waist belt, you can pull it outwards. You can really cinch this down. So if you're rocking a, uh, a summit or a vest that is more, uh, you're carrying game in, it's a little bit heavier, that waist belt is key to take all the pressure, all the weight, um, or nearly all the weight off your shoulder. Uh, for training, I like it a little bit looser. Obviously, I don't have a ton of weight on here. Um, I did have some birds in here. I got my starter pistol. So um, again, moderately, I'm cinching that down. So I like it pretty loose. Again, I'm mobile. Mobile, I can, I can again, do what I need to do. And I don't feel restricted whatsoever. So um, obviously, shoulder straps, one of my favorite features of the whole Final Rise systems are how thin uh, yet durable these shoulder straps are. They have a uh, kind of a grippy coating on the back side. It's not too grippy where I, if I move, it's gonna catch. So I, it still slides on my shirt very nicely, but just enough padding where, or not even padding, just enough grip where it, it's gonna stay in place where it needs to. So it's not gonna impede shooting whatsoever. So really, really love these uh, shoulder straps, shoulder harness system. So as you can see, here's kind of the back of the vest. Um, side kick, super minimal, and with one hand, I can get to the back of the vest, put my headphones back there, water bottle, and a tech cord. So I can put that back, and one-handed, clip it back up. So again, very easy to get my gear back there, stash it if I need to. Uh, again, perfect for the headphones. I took my headphones off when I was done, tossed them back there, and clipped it back up. So really nice um this bag is going to fit several whether training birds hunting birds pheasants quail whatever you're doing um this is going to make a great hunting vest as well um all right so kind of some things that uh i have how i've set it up a little bit um so first off when i was done doing wool posts i just rolled up my check cord and clipped it to the d hook um, i also clipped to the d hook my starter pistol so this is the blank pistol just shoots 22 blanks so again, clip it. If it were to fall, that's a nice thing. This is unloaded. Um, I just slip it in the pocket there. Again, for what I'm doing, it's, it's gonna be fine in there. Um, but if I were to drop it, so I'm, I'm bending over, I, I missed the holder to put it back in. If I drop it, it's right there. So just having that security, being able to clip it somewhere is really nice. And uh, so that's where I put that. In this pocket, I got some gloves. Zip that back up. Um, and over here, it's the new accessory I got. So this was uh, just another accessory pocket. I swapped it out for the bird bag. Now I can fit three, three pigeons in here snugly too comfortably. So if they want some, if they want some room to uh, move around. Two in here, nice and big pocket, so I can slip my hand in. Um, I think I got some some footage of uh, me tossing some birds out of there. Really nice. There's a big. I like that they did here. It's a big Velcro patch, so when I flap this close, it's gonna hit and catch that Velcro. So I don't have to get super precise on where I'm gonna put this flap down, so birds aren't aren't coming out. So that's really nice, Matt. Thank you for making that that velcro patch super large so really appreciate that um again it's all that that kind of that rubber rubberized mesh so breathable birds aren't going to get hot overheat anything like that so um really nice i, I this is a, actually the first day i've tried this um i liked it a lot um may, it'd be nice to maybe have two maybe stick my starter pistol back here um but or for it to be bigger maybe i don't know uh, either larger or um have two of them i think that would be able to hold more birds so um other than that back pocket like i said i already showed you what's back there this is another look from behind so i am uh six five about 225 230 uh this is the regular size uh torso regular torso size and i am uh the medium waist belt and so my pant size is like a 36, 38 sometimes. So medium waist belt, regular torso size. Um, got the blaze orange. I just, I don't know. 
for trialing, if I, whatever, you have to have blaze orange for trials, hunting here in Colorado, some states I hunt in. So I was like, you know what? Might as well just have a blaze orange and uh, not worry about it. So anyways, um, drop any questions, any comments uh, that you have about the uh, new Final Rise Sidekick Vest. Um, I also have the Summit Vest. I love that thing to death. Um, that is an absolute workhorse. Um, but this is this is a great alternative. Uh, if you want something maybe a little bit uh, cheaper, a little bit more friendly on the budget, this is going to be a great option. Um, if you want something that's just just more streamlined and minimal, the bag's not super big. It's not as um, wide, I guess, at the back where the game bag is. And so, um, if you're in the market for a vest, looking for uh, something that's a little better on the budget give the sidekick a look uh if you want kind of the, the granddaddy and and go all out then uh take a look at the summit uh, i love that as well that thing has been through its paces uh lots of wild bird trips um i've also trialed with that vest as well and again it uh, it works just fine again with trialing i like to carry water um we're about 30 minute braces uh, a couple times a day so having water for the dogs so they can stop get a quick drink and keep going off to find their birds has been really really nice um, the other thing I, I haven't mentioned and I have not tried yet is you can actually take off the entire shoulder harness of this system and just rock the sidekick um, as a waist belt, really. So you'll have the, the bag, the accessories, all that just around your waist. And that's where the waist belt comes into play, uh, where it's so critical. So you, if you don't want the harness, you just want to kind of ditch that, don't want to feel that up, up top. Um, you can take off all the whole harness and just rock the waist belt. I've seen guys guys do that. Um, I haven't tried it yet. Um, I'm sure I will here soon, just to kind of see how it feels. Um, I I like I get so I've gotten so comfortable with this. I don't notice it. I don't notice a, a harness on me. That's how I like it. That's if I'm shooting a bird for a dog, out training. I, I wanna. This is exactly what I'm gonna be wearing, chasing birds up in Montana or North Dakota or Kansas or wherever I'm gonna be this year. Um, so I, I kind of like it just as a, hey, this is how it feels to me when I'm hunting. And that's how it is when I'm out here training. So um, anyways, guys, if you have any questions, again, drop them in the comments below. Shoot me a message. I'm happy to answer any questions. Um, again, Matt Davis over at Final Rise putting out some amazing, amazing product, amazing gear. And uh, give them a serious look, finalrise.com. Um, super high quality. The other thing I was going to show you. Kind of that waist belt system. Last thing, I promise. Um, this lumbar pad, super nice. You load this thing down with water, a couple game birds, and this is, I like to say all day comfort, is you are not gonna feel this vest on you. You're gonna feel it, you know what I mean. But it's gonna be super comfortable. I've had my, my Summit loaded down with sharp tail, a pair of antlers I found, water, shells, um, a med kit again my full vest again all these vests are built around the same the same waist belt um it's comfortable you are going to be walking um miles and miles 10 10 mile days sometimes maybe more and again with that weight riding on your uh your hips versus your shoulders it's just a really comfortable vest and again that lumbar pad in there as you can see it is it's pretty thick and so again just a really comfortable vest here's the inside of the waist belt pockets they're kind of rigid so you can slip a nalgene in there you can slip a, a regular bottle hell you could even slip a bumper in there if you want <laughs> tossing tossing bumpers for dogs maybe you have a retriever something like that so anyways that's the uh, final rise sidekick vest check them out great little vest kind of a do-it-all minimalistic lightest vest on the market so anyways that's a uh, that's a look and uh hope you guys are doing well and uh hope you guys have a great kickoff to your season it's, it's gonna be here before we know it if you're watching this it might already be here so good luck chasing birds